Big weekend winner was Coach O on the internet. Coach O won the internet over the weekend as he gave his PSA on how to prevent coronavirus in coordination with South, uh, with the Southeastern Conference. All member institutions, including LSU Athletics, will suspend both practice and competition for all sports through at least April 15th. All sports cease practices, individual and team workouts effective at the end of the day last Friday the 13th. Teams uh, Team meetings will conclude no later than 5 p.m. local time today. So no work being done on college campuses. Coach Ed Ogeron, I don't have this one. I'll get it for you coming up at 7.15. NCAA in response to the cancellation of of collegiate spring sports due to the coronavirus pandemic, the NCAA Division I Council Committee has recommended that eligibility relief be provided to all student athletes who participate in spring sports. We'll talk to Dr. Catrice Albert, who was the former head of human resources and participation over at the NCAA. She'll stop by here at 7.30 this morning. This would include baseball, beach volleyball, men's and women's golf, men's and women's lacrosse, rowing, softball, men's and women's tennis, men's and women's track and field, volleyball, men's uh, water polo are all classified as spring sports by the NCAA. Yeah, and this is something that we talked about, just touched on last week, and we kind of said in our heads, you know, may, maybe you, you do, because you, you can't just give an extra year of eligibility to one class, right? You have to give it to everybody because of the trickle-down effect. If you're a sophomore that's been biding your time, junior year was going to be your year. Well, you might be pushed back a year now. So it sounds like that's what they're going to do. Uh, it, it's not the easiest route. The easiest would have just been saying, yeah, well, it is what it is. So I applaud them for that. Uh, I'm very intrigued to see what actual form this takes in terms of giving everyone an extra year of eligibility and then the the, the, the kind of trickle-down effects over the next few years of kind of log-jamming that, that that roster. will. But but I think this is the right choice, definitely, overall to give a lot. Because those are sports where, like, maybe even the path to a viable professional paying job is even smaller, right? And so this is the, like, last opportunity you'll mm-hmm. have to compete on that sport at a super high level and... Yeah, this is a terrible way to go out. So I I applaud the NCAA for this choice. First day of the NFL season begins at noon as free agency cranks up today on Monday. NFL players voted to approve a new collective bargaining agreement with the league's owners ensuring NFL labor peace through at least 2030 and clearing the way for a 17-game regular season that could start as early as 2021. The vote to approve was close, 60 votes in between the uh, in between the decision yesterday, approval required a majority of the players voting. The new CBA will allow the NFL to expand its regular season from 16 to 17 games as early as this season and expand the playoff game playoff field from 12 teams to 14 as early as the 2020 season. Adam Schefter was on SportsCenter talking about the uh, the new CBA. The yes votes were 1,019. The no votes were 959. So you see the discrepancy right there, a vote difference of about 60. That's how close it is. But simple majority in this particular case wins. And so the NFL now gets labor peace for the next 10 years through the 2030 season. The player's share of benefits rise from 47% of the total revenue to 48.5% of the total revenue. The 17-game regular season now comes on in 2021. There'll be an expanded playoff field, I believe, this upcoming season in 2020. And, of course, this was a vote that had a lot of controversy to it, a lot of differing opinions. A lot of people weren't sure whether they should vote for it or against it. Yeah, it's interesting. So it it only needed a one-vote majority. It got a 60-vote majority, 500 players. Didn't even vote uh, for whatever reason. They, they they chose not to cast their ballot. We'll, we'll go into it a bit more at 715. So how the NFL owners got this passed. The only thing that I would maybe correct from what Schefter said there is that to my understanding, right now the player's revenue uh, share bumps up from 47 to 48. The only way it gets to 48 and a half is if the league makes at least 60% above uh, and new money in these new TV revenue deals. So they need to be making 60% more. That goes up to 48 and a half. If they make 120% more, it goes up to 48.8%. But that's going to be interesting, Jordy, right? With Corona right now and the economy and where it's at, the NFL's not going to want to negotiate these TV deals immediately. They'll probably push it back down till uh, 
till people feel like they have a little more money to spend and then try to break the bank. No more discipline for failed marijuana tests in that new CBA as well. The new NFL's uh, year will start on time as planned, according to a memo sent to teams on Sunday. The memo, which was obtained by ESPN, informs teams that the player team negotiation window will start at noon today and that the league year will start Wednesday at 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock Central Time, both as planned before the coronavirus outbreak. A source told ESPN's Adam Schefter that the NFL had wanted to move back the start of the year, but the Players Association would not provide consent, arguing that working on deals did not require travel or in-person meetings. The NFL has already taken measures uh, measures to adhere calls for a social distancing when it comes to meeting with draft hopefuls, prohibiting all in-person pre-draft visits involving draft-eligible players, according to a memo obtained by ESPN. The league also has canceled its annual meeting, which was scheduled to be held in West Palm Beach, Florida, from March 29th through April 1st. Those are your headlines, which trending here on Off the Bench.